Let's move on over to recording some snare drum. So I'm going to add a track and I'm going to add my drum beat here and choose a drum machine, a drum kit if you like. And let's see what uh, a different drum kit sounds like. Oh, why not New Steel? Let's see what that is. It makes no difference. You can mix and match or keep them all the same kit. It's your choice. So I'll come over here and look at my instrument and the snare drum again is D. That's not so bad. That sounds okay. And so what I'm going to do is uh, put my screen back where I can see, but I am going to use the grid again. Let's take a look at what that beat pattern was one more time in the notation. So I'm going to rest on the first beat, play on beat two, rest on beat three, play on beat four. That's what that squiggly line is. It's a rest. So the hard part here is that after I get the introductory click on your mark, get set, go, and then it starts to record, I have to rest on beat one. That's the tricky part of recording snare drums. So this is how that goes. Let's hit record. Three, four, rest, play, rest, play, rest, play, rest, play, rest, play. One, two, three, four, main, 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 main. That's it. Okay, too many mains there. We can edit that, right? How can we edit that? We can just bring that in and get rid of that, chop that off. If I really want to get very precise, which is good, you may have to zoom in. All right, so I save my work. And what am I going to quantize to? I'm going to quantize to the quarter note. I played quarters, quantize to the quarter. How do you know it's correct? You can go back and listen. You can also inspect it in the piano roll and know that, yes, indeed, if I scroll over, the first beat is empty. <laughs> And this is beat two, and this is beat four. If you want to see that grid only as quarter notes, you can do it this way as well. All right, let's do the, I'm setting back the grid to the eighth notes so I can do the bass drum pattern. Let's pick a new drum kit. Let's try something else while we're at it. Again, I'm going to stay just in these kits, and um, let's try what a clean black kit sounds like. You can experiment with them, see which ones you like. It's all good. So the bass drum is the letter A. There it is, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna solo my bass drum. I might have soloed the other instruments when I was here. That's okay, you could do that. I'm um, save my work, just make sure everything's ready to go and I don't lose anything. Um, and let's take a look at what that bass drum pattern is. It's a little different than the techno pattern. You'll see we have quarter, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter. So it's one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Or using rhythm states, main, main, Utah, main. Let's record the bass drum pattern. Main, main, Utah, main, 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 Utah, main. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Great to stop, save my work, do the same thing, pull in the end marker. Now let's take a look at this in the piano roll. What do you quantize to? Hmm, can't just quantize to the quarter note because that's just not going to work. Let's see if we can select all here. Uh, but if we scroll in and zoom in, I should say, let's zoom in. Here's the first beat. And a main really does last for one whole beat. Remember, we were looking at eighth notes here in the grid. So we have two eighths equal one quarter. And that's what that is, one quarter. And here's another quarter. I'm just showing you this, not that I want you to go in and make these all long, but I do want to show you what two eighth notes look like. They're actually shorter, right? They're just shorter than that. So you will notice that one eighth note lands on the beat and one eighth note lands halfway between the beat. Well that's what this is and then this again. And then a quarter note is on the beat. A quarter note lands in the first of the two eighth notes of every beat. So you could, if you wanted to, as long as you were close enough to recording to the click like I was, you could actually select all and I'm going to right click and quantize to the eighth note, and that is going to make it all perfect. Main, main, Utah, main. Main, main, Utah, main. This is one, one, two, 
three and four and that's this is what it would look like if it was just a really long quarter note so remember eighth notes fall on the first part of the beat and the second part of the beat quarter notes fall on the first part of the beat and last through so it's the first eighth note of every beat is where the quarter note lands so you can quantize to an eighth note and let's go and take a listen to this now in our software so I'm going to um, unsolo this. Let's set a tempo that's kind of a good rock tempo. That should sound good. If you wanted to, you could put this little cycle area on and shift and do the cycle area if you wanted to. So you just repeat over and over. Let's take a listen. adjusting some volume levels and that's a basic rock beat. 